So yeah, hello and welcome to another video here on <laughs> Me Plus You Is yes. Us. Yes, and today we're going to be talking about, I always forget to take the phone out of my pocket. Take it out, take it out. <laughs> <laughs> today we're going to be talking about um, the Dutch perspectives or yeah. Dutch and Ghanaian perspective of what... Uh, Self-care is. Or yeah. maybe, I mean, it's difficult to talk for the whole population. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, generally, we're going to talk about the culture of um, self-care care. and mental health. Yeah, and, and what it means to both places. Yeah. What it means for me, what it means for you, what it means for us. Me plus you is us. <laughs> okay. Who are you? You didn't introduce yourself. I, just, I didn't know. No. Okay, my name is Kwame. I'm Elaine. Yeah, and uh, good to have you here. So, um, first of all, let me just say that before... I met Elaine, I wasn't really, I mean, maybe I was doing these activities, especially, I mean, of course, it's, we are social animals and I have friends and I used to do a lot of things with my friends for my happiness, for joy, for relaxation and everything. So yeah, I did all those things, but I hadn't really put them in a category or in a very conscious place mm -hmm. of saying that I'm doing this for me because it makes me feel a certain way and it's ultimately good for me and my mental health in the future. Mm -hmm. So the buzzword, which is mental health and mm -hmm. self-care or the buzzwords, were not really my dictionary as a conscious effort till we started like, you know, dating. So how did I introduce you to it then? Or how? Yeah, so I realized that in, in the beginning of our relationship, um, I didn't realize it, or I didn't put a label on it, but I realized that um, as I've come to know now, your love language is um, quality time, mm -hmm. right? And you would often want us to do things together and we have to like plan them or travel together or do this together or cook together or go here. And it was all often very thoughtful, hmm. you know? So that's what made me like realize that, okay, that there's some kind of deliberateness to yeah these activities mm -hmm. you know and i really enjoyed doing it um, or doing those activities with you except that i mean at the time because of work i wasn't fully present mm -hmm. for the most part yeah so maybe you need to explain that a little bit so i think one of the things that you were not familiar with was going to places like travel yeah right? and letting go and just being there yeah, like literally go to a new place, pack out your stuff and just sit on the beach, look at the waves yeah. <laughs> and just be. Yeah. And uh, in the beginning, it was very, the grandma was very uncomfortable. Yeah, I was very uncomfortable with um, just, just going somewhere and not doing anything. And Yeah. I mean, uh, a holiday or like going away is also a luxury. Like it's. It is. It is. Well, it's maybe a not a lot of luxury. I mean, it's no. something you need to save up for. Like the same, if you like shopping, you will save up to shop. Yeah. But if you like to, for me, I like to go out of town because it literally brings you new ideas and... You, you reset. Yeah, like you wake up in a new place. Yeah, you and reset from the monotony of... Yeah, the daily, daily, like... Routine day to day. Life. It's nice to step out from that sometimes. And especially in Accra, because Accra is hot, like in temperature, but also like the hustle yeah. is real. Like when you step out, you're literally like, you're out of your comfort zone the whole time because you're not sure what's going to happen. Yeah. Like when you get into a boat, you're not sure, like, will it get to the right place? Will there be something happening on the road? Like it's always, something. or even if you want to get something in town, will it be there? Like, you don't know. Or maybe now with these prices, I have the prices spiked. <laughs> yeah. Like a heart attack from the price. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think yeah. it's nice to, yeah. Take it's not the easiest out. place to um, find peace. Yeah. You know, so it's just more like on the move, on the go all the time. And that's what Accra mainly is. And I'm happy that now that we, we um, culturally or socially have mm -hmm. uh, an awareness to what it means to, you know, do self-care and take care of your mental health mm -hmm. i'm realizing that it's, it's something that's now changing people are becoming much more mm -hmm. aware of you know 
the activities that bring them peace of mind, that slows them down, that resets them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's becoming quite popular now as well. Yeah, I mean, it's really out there in so- social media, like, oh, self-care this, self-care that. And I think it's nice, but I also n- realize there's a lot of, like, commercialization of the self-care thing. It's like, you yeah, need worldwide. to... Worldwide. Yeah, worldwide, not only in Ghana, but, like... As if you need to spend like a lot of money on a spa day or something. It's fine if you want to spend money on a spa day. That's fine. But self care doesn't necessarily need to cost a lot of money. Yeah. Like for so for me, walking the dog like after a work day, or going for a walk uh, with Eli after work day is also self care. Yeah. Just being outside of the house, be getting some fresh air. It's it. It doesn't cost a thing. It only costs time, <laughs> right? Yeah. Why is I, just, I just thought of going for the stupid one for the stupid better. <laughs> yes, there's this. But should I tell? Like, there's this funny video of an old man who, who was uh, going for risking. a walk. Risking. Risk walking. And the, the caption is going for this stupid walk for my stupid better health. Yes, but it actually does help. Yeah, to so take it's the walks. deliberateness, which, yes. which um, yeah. So, what other things do you do for self care? Yeah, so. Um, I don't know if I should talk about only mine or I should talk about generally what I've witnessed. Oh, you can talk about both. But, or okay. Whatever you but for me, to. okay, one of my self-care um, activities would be the Sunday ritual of going to eat fufu. Mm. What does it do for you? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's Okay, so first of all... on, on We a, used to go together, but now... Yeah, can I... <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's you know the 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 luxury bits or the the, the luxury attachment to self care, mm-hmm. so, and like she was saying, it doesn't have to be commercial. Although yes, I'm spending to get fufu at a particular place that I like, but it's the fact that it only happens once a week makes you cherish it more mm. and look forward to it. Mm-hmm. And on 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 the average or every, like from Monday to Saturday, I probably wouldn't even drink beer or any alcohol. But mm-hmm. for that particular day, I would drink one bottle of beer and have this meal. Mm-hmm. And that's how my Sunday, and then I relax after. Yeah. You know, so that's one of my um, self care routines that I like religiously <laughs> love to do. That's nice. Yeah. What about you? Um, I think mine are a bit like smaller. I mean, I like to write things down when I get the time and I like to go for walks when I get the time. (laughs) And uh, for me, it's important to move my body. So I feel in, especially if you have an office job, like I have, you sit a lot. So for me to um, do some yoga, either with YouTube or a class, is really nice just to move your body and just move, like not... Like you're thinking a lot behind the screen a lot, like yeah, you're planning a lot, you're coordinating a lot in your day to day. So it's nice to just be on a mat and stretch your limbs and just be. I think that's and yeah. uh, I do it also a lot at home, just with searching for a YouTube video. I think it's nice to do, and then I, I go. But let's 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 talk about the the social construct of self care and mental health. And what it means to, I mean, you're not speaking for the whole population, but in the Netherlands, for the whole population. in the Netherlands, what's what um, do these what do things mean do? to yeah people? Oh, I don't know if I'm necessarily doing it the Dutch way. I don't know if there's one Dutch way of self care. I think Dutch people uh, we like to talk a lot. I realize yes. Yeah, like whenever we have meetings or birthdays or meetups, like if I go for coffee with a friend, we would always talk. Well, in Ghana, you also just go listen to music. Like it's a more like a free floating kind of thing. Yeah. Mm, but self care wise, I think the walks and like being in nature is definitely a Dutch thing. I I in Accra, that's something I do miss. Like I mean, you have uh, Lego Botanical Gardens, of course, but it's like one place where you can go. You can go to the beach, but then there's also a lot of party people there. So it's not as serene as in the Netherlands. I think people do a lot of walks. And the nice thing about walking together is that you're both like facing forward. So you have, if you will notice also in the car, 
you have different conversations than when you're sitting like across from each other. I think that helps. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, I think people in the Netherlands do also do a lot of retail therapy. <laughs> yeah, but what, a lot what, of shopping. What, yeah, but what, what are, I'm asking on the on the knowledge and the culture in terms of how um, conscious people are of. Mm. These said activities being a self care and I mental think people health like the walks thing. people do. Like, so if I hear a lot of people who go for a uh, during their lunch break, go for a walk just to be like get fresh air and all these things. And I know, like, whenever the sun shines, no matter how cold it is, people go Dutch people go sit on the terrace, like, and they they have oh, a in the park somewhere in the parks, yeah. So, these kind of things, I think the outside is definitely a. Uh, something people do for their mental health mm, yeah outside of that i'm not sure like people meet up a lot for social stuff like doing a coffee but i don't know necessarily if people mark that as self-care like as if they they're doing it for the yeah health. and i'm sure like there's a lot there's a gym culture in netherlands as well so that's there doing sports is very important if you don't do sports it's you're a bit done Odd. Like everybody has one or two sports they do or go to the gym or it's You don't count cycling as sports, huh? No. Like the cycling it's I don't transportation and getting around. I think it's very functional. Yeah. I, I think people do enjoy the cycling. But it's also something that is so common that it's not seen as a sport. No. And also not seen as self care. You would just move from A to B. That's what I think. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm asking. I, I asked. I asked because I mean that's also the the topic of conversation mm -hmm. here. Um, but generally, I think here in Ghana, um, also I think we also have activities or social activities that we do. Like especially when we were kids, we would um, play in groups. Mm -hmm. You know all these things that we used to uh, do the pampana, the pilolo, and everything. Um, when we grow up, it's more the meeting your friends somewhere to eat and yeah. tease each other and drink. And um, only recently that, I mean, not recently, it's not only recently, it's been there for a while, but um, the whole uh, knowledge or accessibility to these concepts that, okay, like, you know, people go through depressive episodes and um, it's because we're just going like running back and forth with work and this is not doing a lot for ourselves and yeah you know the the, the whole um uh, idea or not idea or the knowledge of what uh, mental health mm -hmm. meant wasn't very uh, popular mm -hmm. but i think it's also now coming no yeah with our generation maybe As the well. one before but yeah that there's more time for it or people prioritize it. Yeah. Because I'm sure our parents also needed self-care, but I'm sure there wasn't like a lot of space or, yeah, to actually implement these kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, that would mean that it's more something that's becoming very common in uh, from our generation going. Yeah. Maybe all these things were done from our parents' time, but then we didn't have a categorization or... Or a vocabulary for it. Yeah, vocabulary for it to know mm -hmm. that this is what's it meant. But I mean, for. people, like, I don't know about your dad, but my dad would watch, like, Sunday football in the evening religiously. That could have been... For his, for his routine as well, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, these kind news, of... news and football and all these yeah, things, Yeah, so yes. those were also moments. I think for me, I... I think ever since the COVID lockdown, I, I didn't use to watch a lot of TV, but ever since the lockdown and ever since <laughs> I became pregnant, I just like to watch TV because it just makes me tune out. Because I think a lot during the day when I watch TV, it just slows down. Yeah. And especially I have these guilty pleasures watching trash TV. I don't know which calls them trash TV. Trash TV. It's, it's not it's, trash it's, TV, it's, but it's like um, reality TV and or like a series that doesn't make you think a lot. Yes. Yeah, which is also nice. Um but I also noticed uh like what Ghanaians do or what I notice in my environment here in Accra is that people are good in checking in on each other. Like the small calls. Like yeah. the people call you like, hey, how are you doing? 
right? Yeah. Or those are not, or you feel like that's chit chat. Because um, it's chit chat. There's chit chat. But you can but also, if also, there's something also, going on, you can actually share. Yeah, but um, I also realized that the depth of such conversations, again, we, we hadn't built the level of vocabulary that we have built mm. now. That, I mean, for example, like even to date, if you ask somebody, unless they know that, oh, you want to delve deeper into a certain kind of conversation, how are you doing? They'll just say, I'm fine. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, But if it's, it's a good friend calling you like, hey, what's up? Like, what have you been up to? You can actually share, right? It's a yeah, platform. It, you can share, but it depends on the person. So yeah. I, I, won't, I won't generalize. That's what I'm trying no, to say. No, but I think, okay, okay. Maybe I should say like the habit of calling, like just briefly checking in. Yeah. That's very, for me, it's unique. Like I didn't know that in Netherlands. Right. In okay. Netherlands, we text a lot. And now it's become a thing as well here with texts. Yeah, like but initially it was calls, yes. Yeah, people just call like, hey, how are you doing? I haven't seen you a lot. And it's also good because, you know, in Accra and the traffic, you might not be able to see each other like every week um, because one person lives on this side, one lives on this side. So you really have to. And that's why people meet at um, Ebri or. Yeah, outside places. Yeah, the Oyari Fire and then all the toll booths and then walk up the hill and yeah, after those burning things the are calories, also they go there. eat fufu. <laughs> regain the calories and walk back yeah and sit in your car it's i think that the activity. active life is also like becoming more and more in ghana common and popular more common yeah yeah but then now it's, it's i like the fact that it's now become a it's been merged with our social interaction and you know a sense of belonging and yeah. health uh, mental health as well i think for me honestly hmm that's one thing i don't really like about ghana like People respond so fast on their phones. So for me, self care is sometimes <laughs> to distance myself. <laughs> tune from, out a bit. Tune out a bit, like put my phone in a corner. Of course, when it rings, I will go check, but not be on a screen all the time. For me, that's self care. But I know for you, it's the other way around. Yeah. I, I, your self care is being on your phone. Yeah. And responding on time. <laughs> we used to actually fight about that because Elaine would go, you know, when Elaine goes out with her friends, she tunes out completely. She's present. She's talking. I have my phone in my back. I'm not looking yeah, at it. Yeah, she's Why? not looking at it. I'm and with maybe the people. You've texted her and what you texted requires a response. But for the average Ghanaian, maybe I'm not speaking for everybody, or, but I, I realize that for the average Ghanaian, your phone is next to you, even if you're not on the phone while speaking to the other person. But it's next to you, and you probably say that, oh, can I, may I um, reply this text, or can I pick up this call? And you quickly just pick, oh, it's my wife. And then you reply it, okay, this is what's happening. And then you put it back down. But not to the point where, like, the phone mm -hmm. is in the, my back pocket. I didn't hear you call. I didn't hear you text. Oh, I didn't see you text. And then by the time I see it, it's either too late or... But so. that means that you're always multitasking. So for me, that's a bit... Sometimes I just want to be... I'm somebody who needs to be very present. I'm a very present person. When yeah. I'm doing something, I'm doing it 100%. Like when I'm doing something, I'm 100%. So if my phone is there, like I get this pressure to, oh, I have to do this and this. And then the person replies immediately. I'm like, oh, I don't want to reply. Ugh. Like I get a lot of pressure from my phone. I want to know what the people watching think about this. Is this something that... What do that, you think? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it something that you do? Do you put your phone in your bag and you're present the whole time? You're going to be there for three hours. You don't know what's happening. <laughs> I hear a little judgment here. <laughs> you don't know what's happening. Or it's close by. I mean, you may look at it and judge by the importance of the message and like, put it down. Like maybe you, you tell the person, oh, excuse but, me, But tell let me them about this. your phone habit because you do... You like to really indulge yourself in your phone like he can be on his phone for one half hour just laughing to himself like oh like really immersing yourself yeah, it's, in it's, social so, media so you i don't i you for developed me, the habit of watching trash tv mm, while i i if i'm not working trash, yeah if media. i'm not working i'm just i mean scrolling through reels or tiktok laughing at things or learning things or getting inspired by new things to mm, work on yeah. so it's basically like for don't creative. you get tired of all the different blah, 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 and all the music? No, so it's no. So for me, it, I, it, as, science has even proven how quickly people skip mm -hmm. and how their attention, before it catches my attention, it takes a while before something catches my attention. And if it does, 
it's not too much for me. I have chosen to stop mm. here and watch. But you still get that dopamine spike, no? Like, I think it's very, Is like, it? boom, boom, boom. Anyway. Anyway. You like to distract yourself that way, which is also a form of self-care. Form of self-care, yeah. Self-care, yeah. <laughs> Block everything out. Just be on my phone. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is um, our perspective. Um, I think, our, again, I'll, I'll reiterate that our generation is becoming more aware, having more vocabulary um, about self-care and mental health. And so we're building new ways of engaging yeah. each other. And with travel, you know, also with the availability of the fact that, I mean, now there are cars, you know, people Oh, but have one cars more thing, one more thing. Go to places. So I also noticed in Ghana, people, um, like, people like to call in their cars. Like, whenever you see people driving, mostly they're on their phone. And then you told me, I think I was, we were talking about it, and you said, like, it was one of the pla few places where you're actually alone. Yes. In the car. Most of the time. Yes. So it's funny that, like, a commute... In Accra, even though sometimes the road can be hectic, can be a place of self-care. Yeah. It's hectic most of the time in traffic, but then, I mean, if you are in your car and, of course, you're using the AC or something or not, and you're comfortable in the car, for the most part, you're alone. Yeah. And it's also one of the places where if you want to have a long conversation with somebody, you can because most public places or even private places in the house, when you go... Mm -hmm. There's a lot of noise, there's a lot of people, and you have to engage those people, you know. And yeah. it's, it's not a lot of places, or it's not, a, it's not the right time for you to pick up a phone and just be there for hours on end and yeah. not minding anybody. So sometimes your calls, either business or personal, you pick them up in the car. In the car. And then yeah, that was, I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if we do that in Netherlands. I mean, I didn't have a car in Netherlands, so I can't compare. Yeah. But it's nice that, People use that kind of space to... Yeah, like I would be going home and I would call a friend I haven't spoken to in a while. Also selfishly to keep me company while I drive. Uh, yeah. So on speaker, I'm just driving yeah, and then we're having a conversation, mm -hmm. you know, while I drive. And then when I get home, I'm like, yeah, so I've got some, uh, like I'm home now, so... Yeah, uh, so bye. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we would take it to the yeah. WhatsApp or yeah. uh, we'll talk... Uh, well, it's a nice uh, habit. Yeah. I think. It's yeah. A car is self-care. is like, or like a drive, a commuter self-care is quite yeah. a unique thing. So these are our perspectives. <laughs> um, let us know what yours are, your routines, your favorite self-care routine. You yeah. can let us know in the comment uh, session, C-session. <laughs> C-section. <laughs> Another C-section. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. See you. Bye. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself first and foremost. Yeah. <laughs>